if this brand relaunch doesn't succeed, other little girls might not see the Eunice Johnson story. Girls might not see people that look like them, models that look like them, shades that work for them and their skin tones. You guys know much about Fashion Fair Cosmetics? It's been around since the 70s. It was created by a woman of color. I told Mrs. Johnson, I said, you could be the black Estee Lauder. Oh, she loved that. I have saved all my money and I went right to the Fashion Fair counter. She's like, what do you need? I said, I want everything. <laughs> Fashion Fair changed the way I looked at beauty, making it feel like there was a space for us. What is so interesting, though, is that its demise comes so quickly thereafter. Fashion Fair fell off because they took their consumer for granted. Nothing more. You feel abandoned. Everybody loves a good comeback story. We are relaunching Fashion Fair. Wow. It's time to go. This is a beloved and historic brand. I want to do justice by it. Do you think Fashion Fair would be relevant today? We've been supporting white brands all of our lives. Why not have something that's specifically for us? Can the brand deliver? The global supply chain problem will get worse before it gets better. I need 151,000 to complete production, so we're short 101,000 there. If Fashion Fair doesn't thrive, history is at stake. Oh, Lord, how much extra do you pay for that? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs>